If pound 3901 mod 10 EQ0 M157. Ed came in my office the other day and said, John, we need a way to prompt the user, the machinist, the operator, anybody, every certain number of parts to do something or to check something or to, or to think about something. I'm gonna show how we solved this on the Haas control with a subroutine, and we'll show how we did it on the Tormach machine with just a direct line of G code. But it's really cool because you now have this kind of bi-directional relationship with your machine where it can pause and it can tell you to do something, to check something, to probe something, or even like last week, pull up a photo or a video on the machine control itself. All we have to do is this line of code. It's actually not true, there's one more thing which we'll get to in a second. When Ed said he wanted this to happen every certain number of parts, my first thought was we're gonna modify our post processor, which we certainly could have done that, but ends up there's a bunch of drawbacks to that. The first of which is that every time we edit our post, we're kind of forking off uh, the post development process that happens within Fusion, which actually is a really good thing uh, to get the newest, latest, and greatest uh, post features, probing, et cetera. And this process is actually kind of a part specific process. Uh, there's some parts where I want to check every two or three. There's some where I may want to check every 40. And the way we're handling it with a simple pass through NC and then a subroutine uh, works really well. And as a counter, we're just using the default Haas uh, M30 counter. So every time you go through an M30 cycle, that counter variable 3901 increments up one. And mod 10 is a wonderfully elegant way of solving this. Mod 10 just means is that variable 3901 divisible by 10 evenly. So if the remainder of the mod 10 is equal to zero, that means you are on an increment of 10. So part number 360 divisible evenly by 10 mod zero, it will run that M157. If it was part number 277, when you divide 277 by 10, you have a remainder that's not equal to zero, it doesn't run this. So you could do mod five, mod 25 to change how often you want this to check. So then what is M157? That is a subroutine. To run this set of instructions that we created, which we'll put up over on NYC CNC, mean you copy this program over to your Haas machine. You need to save it, in this instance, as program 9005. Then you need to go into your aliases and set 9005 as 157. That's what ties this M157 to call this program. It leverages the Haas control's ability to ask the operator a question. In this case, I typed in the message to the operator, press Y when the 10th part QC is complete. We then have these two responses, which I found on page 361 of the Haas manual by searching for pound 10501. Uh, and it gives a couple of these interactive user input examples leveraging this M109. The equal here, 89 and 78, relate to whether you press Y or N on the keyboard. I didn't care about the N. The code that we wrote is such that once the user presses Y, then we go to 40. This is really important. Go to 40 will jump you to this section, which says a Y was entered, it then goes to 50, which is right here, and then M99 returns you back to the main program out of the subroutine. If the operator doesn't push anything, it waits, and if they push anything other than Y, you don't satisfy this line, which means it goes to line 30. Line 30 is N30 back here, so it's just looping you through. I encourage you guys to take this program, edit it, run with it. Just remember these go-to lines need to relate back to each other here. Go to 30, go to 40, go to 30, etc. This works out elegantly as a subroutine because those N30 lines will change with every time you post a program and they can't be duplicated. You can't have two N30s or M400s in a NC program. So having this as a subroutine means I have one program. I can call it anytime I want to call it from any of my G code files in Fusion 360 and I don't have to edit my post processor, and if I wanna change the way this works, I only have to change it in one spot. I also don't have to worry about, again, modifying the post or conflicting N numbers. For us, we're just prompting the user, but again, you can leverage what we did last week, which was pulling up a video or a photo, or you could even run a separate probing routine, which could be a really cool way of probing every certain number of parts. To do this on a Tormach, very similar overall scenario, just some different programming syntax. You have to run if statements on Linux CNC or Pathpilot within a subroutine. Luckily, you only need one subroutine, so it's unlikely that you would have a subroutine conflict. So I'm hard coding it as 0177. If 5650 is the parts counter within Pathpilot, here I did mod five, so every five parts, 
It's gonna ask the operator. I find the PathPilot syntax very strange, but it works. To prompt the user, you within parentheses type MSG comma, and then this is the part that displays to the operator. I then put in an M0 that just forces a cycle start to resume once you've done this. And as soon as you're done with that, you end the if statement and it's going to resume the rest of your code. Demonstrating this over on the Tormach PathPilot control, I hit cycle start and index through the first, second, third, fourth, and then on the fifth part, it's actually unfortunate we don't get the pop-up right where I'd like to see it. The status tab does change to yellow, and when you click on that, you can see that latest message, which again works, but I'd love to see it over on the home page. Demonstrating on the Haas control, you can kind of follow along with the M30 counter on the bottom right of the Haas control screen. We'll fast forward here as we index through 10 parts, and when we get to the 10th part, we get a prompt along the bottom of the screen, press Y when the 10th part QC is complete. Again, this doesn't just have to be a text message. We could we could easily pull in that M130 option on either Tormach or the Haas control to show either a photo or even a video with audio of what to do. Or take it to the next level, pulling in a probing routine or something like an automatic tool break detection routine every 10th part to make sure that that parting tool or that engraving tool is still there. It took me a few hours in the morning to figure out how to run this on both machines and it's just so satisfying because it's such an easy way to kind of step up your game. For us, we had one little chamfer. It wasn't a problem. It's just one of those things that really caught us. and It was a good reminder every 10 parts to take a step back and take a holistic approach. Sometimes we want to have somebody else look at the part or we've started using reference parts, kind of good examples of a part where it may not be a tolerance, but rather a surface finish or just this way a tool is cutting and how it should look to compare the two against each other. As always, folks, though, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.